My name is Damien Borovic. Uh, I'm a visual artist specialized in digital crafts. So I started um, little by little uh, with uh, a kit of uh, beams uh, and brackets uh, to construct uh, some machinery, um, buy some uh, bearings, uh, ball bearings to see the linear frictions and motions, uh, researching about X and Y motions and gradually building my machines by hand with uh, parts that I can find uh, in different places. I started um, in the arts, in applied arts, uh, doing a uh, foundation um, in France uh, after a mathematic and scientific baccalaureate. And uh, it was kind of a, quite a decision to go from science to, to art. And that was one of the things I, I was always wanted to uh, get into, uh, making machines that then can draw by themselves. Uh, there's something about uh, computers where um, the lack of uh, tactile, uh, tangible, um, just the tool and the hand making some gesture, for example, in terms of mark making, is very dear to me as well. So I was doing some uh, paintings, abstract paintings on the side as well, which I carry on doing uh, whenever I can. So what makes the drawing machine, what makes the output art? It's, I think, the part of letting go. Uh, uh, for my part as a, as, a, as a creator, as a maker in some ways. Uh, the machines also have um, uh, performance uh, aspects that is quite important. I've tried to build the machine so that the aesthetics um, reveal uh, the inner workings, uh, so everything's apparent, uh, nothing is hidden as such, apart from obviously the code itself, but even the code I try to m reveal through the performance or through the drawings um, how it started or how it's working, so that you can see for example with expanding squares, uh, that is a continuous line starting from the center and evolving as a spiral in some ways, uh, always evolving in that way. I really like um, patterns in any forms or shapes or even sounds. I uh, dabble a bit with sound as well. Uh, I've done some um, even some art videos where I use patterns of like the escalators or uh, ripples in water etc and um, this line making that uh, the machines are able to do uh, is uh, in the same kind of area, same uh, sphere of uh, in the same spectrum if you like and uh, I really like to work with those kind of patterns and moires basically. Uh, I also like making things, so like for me to create a tool that enables me to express uh, through a medium uh, is also quite relevant in my work. So uh, it's not only the results of the drawings but also the making of the machines that uh, is of interest to me. So I work in an iterative process, started with very small machines, now I'm able to make, uh, to draw on A1 um, sheets of papers. I'm intending to um, draw on walls as well, with a different kind of apparatus. I'm also intending uh, later on in the air to use brushes, so that my lines have a variance in terms of the width for the thickness that uh, they can have. And I'm aiming to perform more myself as uh, having more of an input, if you like. So at the moment I create the code and I let it go. I can reset uh, simple shapes from time to time to create more intricate uh, moiré and patterns um, but uh, I would like to, to have more of a, a real-time uh, input with the machines as well. Um, I also would like to do some etching with it, so using needle and scratching on metals um, uh, and I've got some, uh, some equipment to do some etching so it could be quite exciting.